cheers what's up guys welcome back to my channel stop what you're doing like comment and subscribe welcome today i'm gonna do my first i think is this like my first makeup review i am so excited because yesterday i tagged kendra in a post that i saw on facebook of this new palette by Urban Decay and I lost my mind. Like I, when I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. Babe comes and slides through on her little lunch break and comes and gets it for me. Thank you, honey. Oh my God. It's the Urban Decay. <laughs> Naked Honey Palette. <sighs> I can't. Like, this palette is so freaking beautiful. Every color in here, I feel like nothing against, like, fair, fair colored women, but I feel like this palette is, like, meant for the chocolate sisters. Seriously. Um, Each color in here, I feel like it's going to look amazing on my skin, and I cannot wait. Yes, but... Nice packaging we got going on here. I'm gonna do, let's open this box up. I am too excited right now. Ooh. Come on, packaging. Look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I only have one other Urban Decay palette. Not that I don't like it because I love Urban Decay product now. Let's go ahead and open this up. I see that and it comes with the brush plus look at that so it comes with 12 colors in it and comes with its own brush love an eyeshadow that comes with its own brush it's like a nice eyeshadow brush and then a smaller side I think they're both blending brushes oh just in case I did not mention I am not a makeup artist i am a hairstylist but i'm not a makeup artist but i like to do makeup on myself okay just in case you guys try to come for me no don't just in case the muas try to come for me i ain't a professional okay love this brush this is cute so the colors in here is fly by sweet swarm amber keeper golden honey queen Hive, Drip, HBIC, and Sting. Okay, it's cute, cute names. Let me go ahead and swatch those for you guys. <laughs> That's what you guys be doing. You, you know, you make a bar to stop. Be like, let me swatch it. So let me swatch it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I did so pretty, I don't even want to touch it, honestly. Did I say thank you to my babe? <laughs> so you got like the ashier colors, and then you have like the shimmers so this one <laughs> this is probably horrible this is probably coming out horrible this one is fly by this one is sweet this one is swarm and this one is amber Let's see if you <laughs> oh you could tell i don't do this is keeper this one is golden this one is honey and this one is queen i like this one and this one oh these three are gonna be a problem drip kind of looks like my skin tone color so this one is hive this one is drip this one is HBIC. This one is so pretty. And this one is Sting. I'm bad at this. <laughs> that was why I said of doing a swap. So yeah, I'm gonna just throw together a makeup look and see what I come up with. I'm gonna just look at the colors and kind of go off of like what color I like the most. So let's go in and prime the face. 
actually when my girlfriend went to sephora when they gave her the palette they gave her this little sample of ysl um blur primer ysl blur primer it's so cute and it has these little like these little glitter sparkles up in there you can see that I'm a type of person that likes to, like, I like mattifying primer. But I'm going to use this to see what, it, ooh, it feels so nice. Ooh, that feels nice. <laughs> so I'm going to put this all over my face. Ooh, it feels like, um, feels like you're applying, like, That feels really nice on my skin. It feels like you're applying like like powder to your face. And then I'm gonna go in with my other primer and I'm gonna put the Becca. It's called Ever Matte Coreless Primer. I'm gonna put this on my nose my t-zone area because i get greasy there so i see a lot of you makeup artists going with like eyeshadow first because of fallout and all that i usually start with the foundation first i don't know it's just been my thing forever oh and my beauty blender it looks dirty but it's clean i clean it with antibacterial okay every day but it just it's a cheap one so it kind of stained so I need a new I need a new one with my fancy this foundation you gotta be like you gotta like work in like areas <laughs> you cannot just go in and you kind of want to do like space by space because this starts to like dry up nice and quickly and get nice and matte. I love a matte foundation. This is the um pro, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear foundation in the color 430. I usually do that and then I'll go over it a little bit with my true match blending blending it's something about like the Fenty foundation and then like the true match because like true match is like the one I go to if like I'm running out of the good stuff like not to say like true match isn't good but like it's the one I go to when I'm running out of like my Fenty or like whatever one I get from Sephora. I have lost all my tan basically from Cabo. If you see how this foundation looks darker, it's because I, when I went to Cabo, like I got darker colors because I knew I was going to get tan. I'm going to do my brows off camera. Be right back. This is what we have. So simple. I'm not a makeup artist, don't come for me. <laughs> now I'm gonna just prime my eyes. The Urban Decay um, Eye Primer. Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Guys, I'm doing this makeup to go absolutely nowhere. Like I'm just doing this so that I can just see how this is gonna look. <laughs> now that the eyes are primed, let's go in with the shadows. So my favorite colors in here is Amber, Golden, Honey, Queen, and HBIC. So I think I'm gonna go in with Amber. Oh, baby's home. I hope she doesn't have to pee because if she has to pee, then it's going to interrupt this. 
So I'm basically just like patting it on the middle section of my eye. Hi, baby. Hi. She has to feed, guys. Told you. The next color I'm going to go in with is golden because that's like my second favorite color. I went in with golden in the corner right here. Once again, I'm just going to remind you guys, I'm not a makeup artist or nothing. I used to always swipe my eyeshadow on, and then I saw this makeup artist. I think it's makeup by Melissa or whatever. And she said, don't swipe it on. You pat it on. And then the last color I'm going to use is HBIC on the outer corners. And then I'm going to just take the other side of the brush and kind of just blend the top part. <laughs> I'm going to act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> So I'm one of those hooded eye girls, so I kind of bring the eyeshadow up higher. Power to the hooded eye. <laughs> These colors look amazing. This doesn't look even, but whatever. I'm going to just let that chill for a second. I'm going to go in with my Fancy Beauty Tropey Wipe Highlighter. And I'm gonna go in those inner corners. I'm gonna go in at the bottom lash with Sting. So now I'm gonna go with my cheap ass mascara. <laughs> it just coat my lashes before I put on my eyelashes. A little bit of mascara before you put on your false lashes, it just blends them in better. Now that we have our mascara on, I actually bought this like quick drying, um, quick drying, eyelash glue and I'm so used to just like putting the eyelash glue on waiting to um put the mascara on and then put the lashes on like a couple minutes later so it gets tacky but this dries really fast so I don't have to do all that so I got these lashes from the beauty supply store I forgot which brand they are but they're they're really shorter than the normal lashes that I like to get but they're cute this duo quick set uh, strip lash adhesive. This stuff, if you don't like waiting to put on your lashes, get some of this stuff. And it's white and then it dries clear. I'm still gonna blow on it just out of habit. <laughs> See, don't spend too much time on the one lash cause this one will be dried already. I wouldn't be surprised if it was dried. See, the thing about these little short lashes is like they look really natural and you could see the eyeshadow really good still. So, so now that I did the eyeshadow, now that I did the eyeshadow, I'm going to do a little highlight. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Mean Money and Hustler Baby and I'm going to use Hustler Baby. Ready? Then we're gonna go in with a little bit of Trophy Wife. Ooh. 
now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna line my lips with a brown. This is just a drugstore pencil. Now I'm going to go in with my lipstick from MAC and the color is Cherish. It's a beautiful nude color and I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys because <laughs> I'm down to this much left. I need to go re-up on that color. I don't even know if they still have this color honestly but it's gorgeous. Look at that. With the brown liner, <sighs> it does something for me. My look is almost finished. <laughs> now, just gonna do a little bit of liner in those little creases right there, just so it connects. See how that works? I would do a wing eyeliner, but I don't want to embarrass myself, so we're not doing that. We're not doing it. <sighs> Now I'm gonna take my little eyeliner once again, my liquid eyeliner, and I'm gonna put in my beauty marks that I covered up with my foundation. I'm just gonna go, and then I'm gonna add a couple more, you know, just for, just because I'm extra. <laughs> do two on the nose, do one above the eyebrow. This one is real. This one is real. And then sometimes I'll even do one on my lip. I started doing that, the one on the lip because SZA does that or SZA has one on her lip and it's so sexy. Love her. Basically the look, this eyeshadow is absolutely stunning. Let's see. Now it's not perfect, it's not perfect, but I mean, for a person who's not a makeup artist, I said okay, don't come for me. Now we're gonna use the Urban Decay setting spray. <laughs> None other than All Nighter, cause we like to keep it matte over here. After that, let's pat it all in. I would usually put a little bit more highlight and then probably another spray over, but since I'm not going anywhere, I'm not gonna be that extra today. So basically, so this is the finished look. Looks gorgeous. I love the colors. This definitely compliments the brown girls. So I'm happy with it. But anyway, thank you Urban Decay for coming out with this amazing palette. It's definitely gonna be one of my new favorites. So I'm hyped about it. Um, Yeah, this is definitely a go-to. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for a night on the town. Yeah, right, I'm ready for to take a shower and to get my ass in the bed. I'm lying, okay? Thank you guys for watching my non-makeup artist have it ass self. <laughs> if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a little comment. Um, thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Hope I didn't bore you to death. Sorry if my hair looks a hot mess. I'm actually gonna go do that right now. 
But um, yeah, this is my book. I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.